Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Friday PM. Woo! <laughs> we miss the others in the team, it just ain't the same. It's just not the same. We miss Rachel with, let's talk about it. <sighs> well, if you're new to Friday PM, you're so very welcome. We pray you'll be mightily blessed with the Friday PM series. And if you're a regular viewer, welcome back. Good to see you. We've got something different, haven't we? Yes. We've got a four-part series that we're starting this week, and we're the ones being interviewed. Yes, very different this time. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them who, who we were with, Johnny. We were with a wonderful man called Gordon Petty, and he's with uh, Revelation TV in the UK. They have also are based in Spain. And we were asked to come in for a series of interviews about Vine Song and about what we're all about. And during this episode... Yeah, we talked about the, the basically the origin of, of the ministry and some testimony as well. So we pray you'll be blessed with that. And then uh, yeah, I shared a little bit of... He asked me about my testimony. So praise the Lord, I shared some of that. We pray you'll be blessed with. And we ended with three songs... With a little love, lift up the name and healing stream. We pray you will be blessed. Yeah, praise the Lord. So sit back, relax, be blessed. See you soon. Well, welcome to Revelation TV Presents, and I'm delighted to say that I've got two guests with me here in the studio who I feel very honored and privileged to have. I'd like you to welcome Daniel and Charlene Cock. Lovely to have you both with us. Uh, thank you so much. And, and Charlene, let me just start. You, you're part of a, of a group called Vinesong, and I guess there'll be just a few people who'll say, Vinesong? What is Vinesong? How would you say? Vine song. <clears throat> we're a team, we're a family, we're a team of missionaries, musicianaries, if you can call it that. And we use worship to equip and build the body of Christ, to save, to heal, to change lives. And uh, so we do mission work. We're modern day missionaries going out into the world using worship as a tool to reach the lost. Okay. Daniel, you've been with uh, Vine Song for over a long time, I understand. How many years? Yeah, I think I'm approaching my 19th year now. But Vine Song is nearly 40 years old, isn't it? Correct. So t tell us a little bit about how it began and where it came from. Well, it was started in 1982, or should I say birthed. The Holy Spirit birthed the ministry. We give all glory to him for the ministry. And uh, of course, the founder of Vine Song is, is John Watson. And the ministry was birthed and given to him as a vision and the mission was made clear. And it started just north of Durban in South Africa. And it wasn't by choice, it just happened. How he had his own journey on being in a real place of struggle with the Lord about his calling and destiny, being a missionary in South Africa to England, to Holland, to working with Andre Crouch in America and that whole is a ministry in itself. And then going back to South Africa and helping at his father's church and going through a real struggle at the time. And a team of Norway waiting for him to start a ministry there and just the struggle internally and the spiritual struggle he had. And through that struggle is one day when he picked up a piano accordion and wrote the song, Let Your Living Water Flow Over My Soul. And that's when, they say the rest is history, but that's, that's where it started ultimately. And uh, then the vision just grew and grew and grew and teams and changes and different countries came after that. It's quite amazing, the story. And uh, on your website, you've got lots of information which talks about how it's gone and the journey that you've been on. And one of the things we were doing before the program began was just chatting about the number of people that we knew and places that we've been to and uh, so much to reminisce about. So I'm looking forward very much to talking with you. But we want to have some music because this is... Uh, 
the plan is we chat and we talk and we play some music. And so the first song we're going to have is one that you have called With a Little Love. Charlene, why don't you introduce it for us? Yeah, sure. It um, was written many years ago by John and uh, we revived it again with a little love. Uh, you can make the world much brighter. With a little love, you can change the world, you can touch people's lives. And it's a great upbeat song and we pray you will be blessed. It, it really works well when we start ministry in a situation and people can join in and worship with us. So here is Vine Song and the song With a Little Love. Ooh. 
Well, that was Vine Song and With a Little Love. And I'm delighted that Daniel and Charlene from that group are with me now today. Charlene, before I go on to Daniel and ask him a little bit about himself, music, I mean, you said before the hand, or Daniel said that it was written, are all your songs written by yourselves? Yes, by John Watson mostly, and uh, he, has had the gift of composing. He always says that it was written in heaven and uh, first, and he was just obedient to pen it down. So uh, we've been so blessed to sing all his songs, Let Your Living Water Flow, Peace Like a River, Holy Spirit Move Me Now. Wonderful, wonderful songs. It's just Amen. simple. And he writes it in about five minutes. Wow. <laughs> Most of the songs, because it's just a download. And then he writes it, calls us and say, quickly, quickly write this down, quickly record it. And then we have our arranger in South Africa that uh, does it. But now with a new team, we, we're doing it ourselves at home, which is wonderful. Wow. Daniel, so you're part of the Vine Song. In fact, you're not just part, you're the leader of Vine Song now. Yeah. Let me just go back a little bit, because you've mentioned several times John Watson, and, and those who know the Vine Song story will, will know who John is, but others will, will be saying, well, who, who is John? So, so just tell us a little bit, first of all, John. All right, him, him being the leader, the founder, as we said, um, he's been leading the team all these years, multiple teams, uh, four big team changes, over 40 years of ministry. and. I feel very blessed. I always say, well, he used to say, well, God is the leader and I'm his assistant. And I feel the same. It's really the leading of the Holy Spirit. It's his work. It's his ministry. And our role is just to try and follow suit and to step in line and to, to find out what it is that he wants. But getting back to John, I think it's been a real journey uh, to see such a fine example of faithfulness, not giving up, uh, always going the extra mile not compromising, speaking the truth, even if it hurts. And I think for me, I feel very honored and blessed to have such an example of someone like that in the body of Christ to, to learn from. So it's been a real road of discipleship. Um, not always easy, but looking back, I wouldn't change it for the world. All right. How did you come to faith in Christ? Well, it's been a journey. I. You know, growing up in South Africa, you know, you know of God, you hear of God, of Jesus. And I was blessed to grow up with parents that did love and, and know the Lord. But you have to find your own journey, isn't it? You have to make it yourself. And it just came at a real crossroads for me where I was just painfully unhappy, borderline depressed. I was even suicidal, I think, at the time. And uh, just finding out what God has for me and truly not fitting in not fitting in with the world, with the world system, not feeling like I belong really anywhere. But more than that, I wanted to ask the Lord, Lord, why am I here? What's the purpose of all this? And birthed from, I would suppose, unhappiness, finding fulfillment, filling that void in my heart, is really at a time where after multiple complications in university years, which I won't go into, I think many listening know what I'm talking about, I couldn't fill that void with anything else. It had to be a, a full-blown commitment and a full change of my life, or I, I wouldn't probably be here anymore. And that's when the Lord saved me in a wonderful way, and I uh, surrendered my life to Him. And I can truly say, you know, Ephesians 2 said, it's by, it's by grace that we've been saved. And it's truly nothing what I could have done. He decided, He gave me that, that grace, that love, that mercy to find Him. And from that moment on, I must say that it has been a radical change. Every single thing in my life just turned upside down. And what he did was is to take my weakest weakness and turn it to the biggest strength. And some of my friends from school, if they hear and see what I do now, some of them just actually burst out laughing because they can't believe that this is me. So it's truly all glory to God. And it's, it's he that has done the work. Amen. Well, here you are, you're part of a, of a group. I hesitate to use the word group because group almost implies you're like you go on the stage, you perform and you know, that's it. <laughs> Just describe a little bit about how you seek to, to use the ministry of Vine Song, the music that you do. Yes, I'm glad you're saying that because we do like the word team, like a, a team pulls together. God uses each one of our giftings in the, within the team to do what he wants to do to set people free. And many times um, people have said Vinesong is a 
yoke-breaking, burden-lifting ministry. And we flow very much apostolically. And it's always been like that since 1982, um, prophesying and worshipping and ministering and teaching and using all those things to do what God wants to do. And um, that's how we've always worked. And we don't want to go into another lane. We stay in our lanes. Worship is an extremely strong tool to use. Worship has a way to break into someone's heart and do surgery and change and heal while the worship's going on. And uh, it's an honor to do what we do, uh, to use worship, not music, but worship, because you can come, as, as you said, as a group, do your songs and leave, but worship changes a man. Saul, when they uh, came to anoint him, they worshiped and it changed him from being a timid man to being the leader, first leader of Israel. And so many different places in the Bible where worship changes. And so it's a wonderful, strong That's team. right. Well, it's, it's, it's as you lift up the name of Jesus, Amen. isn't it? And that's the next song that we're going to have. Do you want to introduce it for us? Yes, absolutely. There's no name higher than the name of Jesus. When you open up a time of worship with his name singing, there's no name higher. Demons have to flee. Uh, everything comes in line with the word when you lift up the name of Jesus. Lift him up. 
Well, that's what we want to do here at Revelation TV, to lift up the name of Jesus. And what we all want to do in, in our lives and to help us to understand and how to do it are Daniel uh, and uh, Charlene and uh, from Vine Song. Thank you so much for being with me today. Well, one of the things that intrigues me about your ministry is you began in South Africa and, and you've talked a little bit about John Watson, but, but I didn't realize until you, you came today that you're, you're now based in the United Kingdom. Yeah, in 1986, the ministry moved from South Africa to the UK. Obviously, the Lord inspired that uh, because based on the song Living Water, so many invitations opened up all around Europe and all around the world, and it seemed sensible that England would be more central uh, to fulfill those kind of commitments. Uh, so yeah, we've been based there ever since, and uh, yeah, the Lord opened the nations from there. And, and one of the, before your time, but 1988, there was a big fire conference in, in the Birmingham area, and, and Vine Song were there, and that really had an impact upon the nation. Oh, absolutely, and we, we spoke about Reinhard Bonnke being there, and that, that meeting was extra special, and we believe there was a real shift in the spirit during that conference, and we've heard of so many ministries that were even birthed, and, and it was just a togetherness, I think, of believers at that time and spiritual leaders that the Lord empowered from then to just go out and ministries expanding and the gospel further. So yeah, it was a very special meeting. I wasn't there, of course, but hearing and, and, and seeing the fruit of that is, of course, a very special. But until I rang you up and, and talked with you, I hadn't even, I'd forgotten that you came to Revelation TV's very first birthday. <laughs> and uh, that was back in, well, it'd be 2004, because our birthday was, we started in, in 2003. And, and we had a, um, an event in Brixham, and, uh, and you were part of the, the worship team. So bless you all. Thank you for the connection that you've got with Rev TV. Really appreciated it. But... When you go on, on the stage, on the platform, wherever it is that you are, your aim is to minister through your singing and through the worship. And in a moment, we're going to have a song which is called Healing Streams, I think it is. Um, just share with us a little bit, how does that happen? You have to have the anointing. You cannot minister any other way. And whether you have a good voice or not, there's a different sound that the Holy Spirit looks for. And Healing Stream is, is an a cappella. And we come to a point in the ministry many times where there's such a sweet, sweet presence of the Holy Spirit. And then Dan and I would just look at each other and say, let's sing it. No music, nothing. And it just simply says, let your spirit fall on me. Let your power flow through me. Lord, I need your gentle touch. Spirit, free me from all doubt. As I wait, Lord, take me now. And it just talks about opening up to the Holy Spirit and for him to do a deep work. So um, I think that must be the beginning and the end of worship, is having the Holy Spirit just move. Amen. Well, we want the Lord to work in your life, whatever your situation is at this moment of time, whatever your need is, whether it's a physical need, an emotional need, maybe there's some situation in your life that you're struggling with. I'm praying that as you listen to this music, and then I invite Daniel and Charlene just to begin to pray for us, that the Lord will just minister to you. So I just encourage you to open your heart, open your life, and just say, Lord, minister to me right now. Let your spirit fall on me. Let your power flow through me. Lord, I need your gentle touch. Spirit, free me from all doubt. As I wait, Lord, take me now to a place of love and grace. Spirit, teach me how to wait and to trust you in real faith. There's a healing stream which flows Help me, Lord, to end. 
Why don't we pray together? Lord, thank you for this time that we've had to seek your face and your presence. And Lord, I pray for anyone watching right now, as we sang in that song, doubt can creep in, fear can creep in. We're unsure of the future at times, but Lord, we give it straight into your hands right now. And we say in the name of Jesus, Lord, touch us, remove doubt, remove, remove fear from us and put us on that solid ground. And that's why, Lord, thank you that we can lift you up, to lift up the name of Jesus. And Jesus, your name is above any other name out there, any virus name, any struggle, any pain. Anyone with pain right now, Lord, we ask for complete healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, set us free. Lord, release us, we pray, to do more for you now than ever, ever, ever before. Lord, but begin with us. Heal our hearts, heal our family situations, whatever troubles our minds, Lord, we ask that you take care of that today. Holy Spirit, do what only you can do. So we give you the praise and the glory. We worship you today. You are the God that we serve. You're the God of our yesterday. You're the God of today. And you are tomorrow. You're already there. So Lord, we bless your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I trust the Lord blessed you there. I want to say thank you to Daniel and to Charlene for being with us today. Uh, Vine Song, I look forward to being back with you next week because this is part one of a four part series where we're talking about the life and ministry of Vine Song. Until next time, God bless you. Bye bye.